Thanks for tuning in. Hi, I'm Kyla Grogan from HXGN TV. So today we are here to talk about the latest updates to the Luciad portfolio to be available in July 2019. And to do that, I'm joined by Frank Sykins. He is the Chief Innovation Officer at Hexagon Geospatial. Thanks so much for joining me today, Frank. So you are announcing a new desktop product, Luciad C Pillar. So why are you releasing a second desktop product and what are the differences compared to Luciad Lightspeed? So, well, if you, if you look at what Lucia does, um, we provide uh, software products to software developers that build applications. So our software products are really uh, tools that are used by software developers uh, then to program on top of them and to use them uh, to build applications. And we have a great uh, product, Lucia Lightspeed, uh, which is uh, Java-based, so it's a programming language based on the Java language and it's been going strong for a very long time. Um, but what we see in, but with software developers is they're very um, attached to their own languages. So you have uh, people who like Java, but you yeah. also have people who like C++, C Sharp, other languages. And what we've seen over the years is that people love to use Lucid Lightspeed, they love the functionality, and we have a very good penetration in kind of the Java market but the C++ and C Sharp market was always difficult for us to enter with that Java-based product. And, and it's a bit funny because when I started my career at Luciat, like 16 years ago, the first thing that I had to do was take Luciat Lightspeed and try to bridge that with these other languages to try to get Luciat Lightspeed into those, uh, yeah, into those development teams which do C++, C++, C Sharp. And we had some success, but basically what we've seen is that we're, we're almost missing half of the market mm -hmm. for our situational awareness solutions that uh, are powered by Lucid Lightspeed. So big opportunity then. Yeah, yeah. So it was really a business decision to say, okay, we're going to do a new product, which is in philosophy very similar to Lucid Lightspeed, and which will have similar capabilities, uh, performance, accuracy, uh, building things for situational awareness, mission critical, all of that. But then, yeah, catered to those uh, those other uh, development teams, which really love their uh, C sharp uh, C++ language. Okay, so it's been a while since new features were added to Luciad Mobile. What's new in this release, and what challenges does it solve? So, um, Luciad Mobile is our product, uh, which is uh, for mobile devices, and it's uh, quite a I would almost say niche product because it is being used for um, people in the field, and especially in the defense area, uh, for soldiers that are going into the field and have, for instance, sleeve-mounted devices, a device on their sleeve, which gives them, again, situational awareness, where they can see, they get uh, communication in there, and they can see friendlies, uh, maybe dangerous situations, see that all on that device. And this is typically displayed with uh, a specific military symbology. And that, those are standards by NATO or the U.S. Department of Defense. And what we see is that um, our Lucid products are being used at different echelons within this. Uh, headquarters for command and control, in vehicle, on ships, in aircraft, but also in the field. And what is important is that all these echelons get exactly the same picture and the same symbology and the same uh, even even symbols for seaweed areas and stuff. It's it's yeah. it's crazy how many of these symbols are defined in these standards, but they need to be uh, supported exactly the same, look exactly the same. Kind of standardized. Yeah. And while that might may seem logical that it is, um, we've added that now to Lucian Mobile, um, and have that also in our other products. Um, and it's very consistent across all the products. And I think we're the only technology in the world to do this type of consistency across all the different products and then across all the different echelons within uh, within. All right, and in, a, in an industry where communication is important, right, and being clear exactly. is important. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so now let's talk about this. Your products have been rebranded. What if some customers don't like the new colors and icons, which happen sometimes? Yeah, yeah which happens often, but <laughs> <laughs> so um, on one hand has, has been a rebranding indeed. Um, so Luciat uh, became part of the Hexagon family uh, about one and a half years ago. And we had our own branding, so that was kind of evolving towards the Hexagon Geospatial branding, 
but now there's also the initiative of one hexagon where you have the, the branding, they want to have the branding across different divisions uh, consistent, which I think is a very good idea because uh, for our products, um, they are being integrated into other hexagon products and then to have a consistent look and feel uh, is, is important. But for our customers, um, if they want to change it, they can. So we, again, as I said, we have developers building applications and they're customizing everything, including the user interface. Uh, the first thing they do is rip out our logos and put their own logos uh, in place yeah. and have their own branding. So we've foreseen everything from colors to language to logos, everything can be, uh, can be customized. Very customizable, so. right. So yeah, you can exactly. do what you want and make yourself happy. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right, so a main feature of Luciet RIA that has been updated is the styling. What's changing for the user where that's concerned? So, um, so uh, Luciet, uh, we call it REAP product, is um, a browser-based product, again, for developers to build applications. And what we see is that uh, our customers use our product kind of on a crossroads of geospatial requirements, all lots of geospatial data, operational requirements, real-time data feeds coming in, uh, but also visualization requirements. And what we see is that the, uh, those requirements on having nice visualization are getting higher and higher because the data that can be acquired, for instance, with Leica sensors, becomes more and more detailed and you can have beautiful buildings and very detailed data being acquired. And then they want to show that in the best possible way. And things we did uh, in, in Lucidria for 3Ds, uh, we added uh, shadows so that you can, if you see that you can have shadows, uh, lots of types of shading to make it uh, with moving sun and then you so see all realistic. the shading, yeah, more realistic. Um, depth of field and all sorts of coloring that you could change so that one example is if you have a, a city in the south of France they often have like the orange uh, roofs you can now apply color filtering to pop them out so that it's it's really more visible and then with some depth of field and if you move around it gives you a beautiful view of that city and gives you really that south of France feel yeah. which which is what the, our customers now want to really showcase their their city or whatever they want to they display. Have a sense of what you feel yep. when you really look at it. Exactly. Okay, so let's now talk about um, Luciad Lightspeed. What improvements have been made to Luciad Lightspeed? So for uh, Luciad Lightspeed, um, I told you yeah, it's based on Java. Right. Um, and we looked a lot at uh, what we call developer experience. So you have user experience where something needs to be very easy to use by the, all the users. But since basically our customers are developers, we want them to have a good developer experience so make it very easy for them to be able to develop that. And there's been a number of evolutions in, in the, the Java community, Java technology, also by Oracle, quite, quite some changes in commercial licensing and everything. So, what we've done there is adapt to these evolutions, make sure that uh, our, our customers have options, either the commercial Oracle part or a free open source, open JDK part for Java. Um, they can use the latest features within Java. I'll give you one example, uh, high DPI, so very high resolution screens. We now allow you to Take better, make better use of that to higher quality visualizations on these high uh, high risk screens, and a lot of these, more of these yeah, developer experience uh, improvements. We updated documentation, for instance, so it makes it easier for them to find what they need, mm -hmm. because these days people are used to search on Google, yep. find some code, <laughs> copy the code, done, and that's that's what we're trying to do for our developers as well. All right, very good. Well, thank you for giving us the updates on all of that. Sounds okay. like there's a lot going on. Yeah, it is, it is. <laughs> all right, thank you so much, Frank. And for more information about today's topic, you can visit hexagongeospatial.com. And of course, to watch additional episodes or learn more, you can visit hxgnspotlight.com. Thanks so much for tuning in.